Hey guys, so I finally decided that I am going to make an update video. And it's kind of funny because if you look on my Facebook, it's my Facebook. If you look on my YouTube, it's just like random video update, random video update. So <laughs> this is going to be an update video. So I'm trying to make this as short as possible because I know that I have a brilliant tendency to just go on and on with my talking because I just love talking. <laughs> but I'm going to try and make this nice and short. So let's just get right into this. So update. I kind of want to focus this update on Serenity because I've noticed that a lot of my updates are more about me and like how I'm working and I really want to focus on Serenity because she's blossoming into such a beautiful little girl. So really quick about me, I'm only going to take like about two minutes to say this, but I am unemployed. I'll get into, I'll make a whole num another video um, focusing on why I'm unemployed and all that stuff. But for those of you who don't know or who are not following me on my social media accounts, um, I'm unemployed for personal reasons and I was actually working at a coffee shop for about 11 months and I was a barista. It was really awesome and cool but anyways that's another video for another time but um focusing on serenity blah, 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 serenity she's actually starting um daycare not even daycare she's starting head start on Monday. Oh my god I'm gonna cry because she's growing way too fast. It feels like just yesterday I was making a video about how I'm pregnant with her and how I don't know what to do and all that stuff and like the scariness of being a brand new mom for the first time. So yeah, she's starting Head Start because she's a smart little noodle and I love her so much and I've been working so hard to make sure she learns all her colors. She knows how to count up to 20 right now. Um, she speaks very clear sentences and she just has such personality. She is like, she has like no fear. The only thing that scares me about her is that she's very, very, very friendly. There are times where we're walking in the street, like to the store or something like that, running an errand, and we'll be waiting on the corner of the street, waiting for the light to turn green, and she'll see some random person, and if the person smiles at her, she'll be like, oh, hi, and she wants to, like, go start a conversation with them, and I'm like, surrender, they are a stranger, stranger danger, no, <laughs> like, she's very, very friendly, so <laughs> that's the only thing that kind of worries me, because, you know, Today in this world, we have so many things going on, and it's just like, I wish that we were able to allow our kids to be super friendly to everyone. It's just that because of the way the world is going right now and how many dangers are out there, I have to really enforce the stranger danger rule, especially if she's going into Head Start and there's going to be a whole bunch of new people. Like, I don't want her to be, like, rude to new people, but I also want her to understand the differences between someone who is a good role model for her and someone who is just a complete stranger and she needs to like work up their like friendship level and stuff before she can be super friendly. But she's only three right now so I'm not worrying too much about it and I'm always near her and the head start that I have her in is very reputable and they're really good and stuff like that and she starts Monday and I'm so excited for her. So for the first three days it's like a transitioning period. So on Monday I'll be with her from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. 11 a.m. and I don't know if recording is allowed I'm assuming it's not but I'll definitely make a little update video on how her first day went so from 9 to 11 I'm going to be with her in the classroom for those three hours and then on Tuesday it's going to be from 9 to 12 and I'll be in the hallway so I won't be in the classroom interacting with her but I'll be right nearby just in case she does flip out and she's like where's mommy which honestly my little girl is so independent <laughs> it kind of scares me sometimes because um, today, when I was filling out all her paperwork, one of the caregivers there was like, oh, let me go and take her and show her around the classroom. And the lady was like, oh, hey, come on, Serenity. And Serenity was just like, bye, Mom. And she left. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> She was totally, like, not caring that I was, like, not in her presence. And I think it's because of all the interactions she saw and how fun everyone was and all that stuff. But so she starts on Monday, and I'm so happy for her. On Wednesday is the only day that I am going to drop her off at 9 a.m., and I pick her up at 2.30. So Wednesday is like the moment of truth day. It's like how she really is going to react with her mommy not being there for all those hours. So it gives me a little chance to take care of things at home, job searching, all that stuff. So it really is going to help me. And also, she's going to be around K-12 
kids her age. You know, it's just me and her here. No matter if I sit there and like interact with her and teach her things, she still needs like the company of other kids and stuff like that. So this is like the greatest thing ever. And she's so smart. Like I'm so excited for her. My heart is breaking on the inside because I'm like, oh, I'm going to be without her and she's in a new setting and I'm worried for her. But I'm also really, really happy for her because I know that this is the best thing for her. So that's it in terms of her. She's also finally potty trained. Yes, no more diapers. <laughs> that's like the best. <laughs> diapers are expensive, man. Like, But she's potty trained completely, which is awesome. It took me about a week to fully potty train her. Of course, she had a lot of accidents. She's at the point where she only wears diapers at nighttime, and that's only because she's not too good with nighttime. There are times we'll sh where she'll have like a little bit of mess up, a slip up, and she'll pee in the middle of the night, and then I have to wake up and be like, eh, and scrub it and stuff like that. So I'm slowly trying to transition her into not wearing diapers at night at all. She hates them. She absolutely, she gives me like the worst time every single time I put diapers on her. She's like, no, mommy, I want my panties, and da 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 da. I'm a big girl now, and stuff like that. She she talks in complete sentences. She's very, very fluent. Like you can actually understand what she's saying and what she's trying to say. And she's very talkative. Like she won't shut up. <laughs> there are times where I'm like, Serenity, you told me this story about five million times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but of course I, I, I let her just talk it out because it's adorable. She's three years old and she's finally grasping the ways of the world and how she can use her words. So she's always telling me like these intricate stories about what her little toddler mind is going through throughout the day and it's adorable um she recently for her um for her to be enrolled in the daycare or in the head start she had to get all of her shots and her immunizations and stuff and she was all up to date with them the only one she had to get today was her flu shot and they had to prick her little finger to check her lead levels and her blood and to make sure that she's fine and all of that went great which I'm just like yay about she was such a good girl like all the nurses and doctors fell in love with her because she is such a talker she's super freaking friendly like I said she's such a talker so she was talking to all the nurses and doctors and making them fall in love with her and all that stuff and then when they gave her the flu shot they gave it in her arm and they had me like she was like straddling me like she was sitting face her head her face facing me and I had to hold her and the doctor slipped off her shoulder and like gave her a little shot in her shoulder and stuff like that but she did really good like she cried for about I want to say a minute and that's it like there were kids in the next room like yeah like screaming bloody murder and serenity was like no nah, I got this I'm cool <laughs> she was really good and I was really proud of her when they pricked her fingers she didn't even blink an eye I was like this little girl's fearless like oh my god I'm gonna have trouble with her when she's 16 years old <laughs> she's gonna be fighting me all the time but that's pretty much the update I want to do a video talking about what I'm doing in terms of like my career what I want to do with my life I want to talk more about serenity I want to definitely talk and possibly film her first day maybe snapchat it and then just like integrate it into a video or um just verbally talk about it and stuff like that but I definitely want to do a video of her talking to the camera because she's so fluent and she's like I love her I am so proud of her she's super super fluent she has the best manners like I'm really happy with how my family is working with me and how I'm working with her to really make her into a little girl that's enjoyable for the world that she can grow up and be someone who's enjoyable to be around you know not like a bad kid I'm trying to raise her like as best as I can you know um I want to do a video talking about her dad and his involvement in her life because that's like a whole crazy story <laughs> um <laughs> I want to talk uh about me and my current like status on in terms of like am I still engaged and stuff like that and all that stuff but this is just a video updating you, you guys really quickly about what's going on in my life and where I am and I'm still alive and all that stuff so it's at like almost 10 minutes which is fine I wanted to do like a five minute video but I can never seem to do that because I talk for but I always have like so much to say because I take forever to make videos so I want to do that I definitely want to throw in like a day in the life of me and serenity you know because she is a freaking character and she's not afraid of the camera at all in fact when I put the camera on her she turns into like a little star <laughs> she should be an acting maybe because <laughs> she's so dramatic but I definitely want to do a video with her an update on where I'm going in terms of careers 
and all that stuff, guys. So thank you for watching my video if you watched it this long and listened to my ramblings. And yeah, I'm going to go to sleep now. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you do not follow me, follow me on Instagram because I'm extremely active on there. My Instagram is the world of cliche. My Facebook page I'm never active on, but if I and I don't add people to my personal Facebook page, but if you're like a mommy and a decent human being, I'll add you. <laughs> uh my Facebook page, you can just message me on Instagram or something to find that out. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a good night.